Hey, what's up PFL viewers? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at this lovely Mercedes and we're going to be changing the color on it. The first step I'm going to do is duplicate this background layer with Command J. And you can see it makes layer 1. And then I want to make a selection around the entire body. And to do that I'm going to be using the pen tool. And if you're not familiar with the pen tool, I will do some explaining for you. I'm going to quickly slam a can of Red Bull so I can do this really quickly and go. So pretty much with the pen tool all that you need to do is make sure you're on this path, mo not path mode, the uh, shape drawing mode. You can see in the top left area there I have that button pressed down and that's going to create an actual shape rather than a path. I prefer shapes but you can work with paths. Uh, I like to see my shape in the layers panel so I can always quickly go back to it if I have to reselect it or make any edits. Uh, so the way the pen tool works is you click down and it makes a point then you can click again to make a, a straight line but if you click and drag you can make a bezier curve which actually curves the line. I explained this and have done some other tutorials with the pen tool before so you might want to check out some uh, like icon design tutorials that I have very simple stuff but it takes a little bit of getting used to so pretty much what I'm doing is making a shape around the entire car body here all around the gray area and I failed to mention earlier that when choosing a car it's best to get a like a dark gray or a light gray image of the car paint um, that works best for changing the color if you have a dark gray color you might want to use your um, your brightness and contrast and try to lighten it bring as close to white paint as possible like this color gray worked out perfectly so now that I made the overall selection I'm going to click on this third button up here and it's going to allow me to make subtractions to this basic or the big shape so I'm going to cut out this window over here and anything that's not body paint you want to cut out the windows the lights the grill all that stuff on your version of this, you may want to take more time on it than I did. Um, I'm only taking about 30 seconds because I drank a lot of caffeine. Um, no, because I don't want to waste too much of your time. It's just a basic idea. You can go on and make yours a little bit better than mine or a lot of it better. Um, as you can see, I'm just cutting out these black areas that I don't want colors to affect. So if you need to go back a point or so because you made a little mistake, click on Control Z or Control Shift Z to step back a few times and that should get you to where you can not have to start all over again. So now that we have our beautiful selection made, we can Command click the thumbnail here and it'll make the actual selection and then Control J on layer 1 and we're going to do that two times. Now the reason for the two layers is because one is going to be the actual color layer and one is going to be the reflection layer. And you'll see the, the big difference that the reflection layer actually makes. So now on our first duplicate, the color layer, I am going to create a new layer above it and then pick a nice red color that I want. Let's see. Uh, that's good. And then I'm going to right click that layer and go to create clipping mask. And then I'm going to fill it with that red color. And it's only going to fill over that, uh, the parts of that layer. Now at the top, we're going to change it to multiply, and you'll see how pretty this looks. Ooh, nice. But yet, it looks a little bit flat, and that's going to be the reason for our reflective layer. So now watch what happens when I turn on the reflective layer and change it to screen. Boom! Pimp riding. Okay, maybe we don't want that. What I'm going to do is stay on this layer and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Levels. And then I'm going to check Use Previous Level as a Clipping Mask. So now in here, if I just take this um, the white slider here and I slide it all the way to the end, we get a, a fairly good look, but it still looks like it's flat and missing some highlights. So we're going to want to mess with these sliders up top here. Slide them over. And oops, you want to bring this white one back. You don't have to bring it all the way back, but just some. And then just mess with these sliders up here until you get the nice red look that you want. And I don't know, I like it. I think right here, maybe a little bit darker, that's good. Then you can always mess with the opacity if it's too dark and um, I don't know, I'm going to leave mine at 100 and probably keep this right here. 
So now that we have the basic settings for this red, it's easy to create a new layer and create Clippy Mask. And we're going to make this one, let's see, would be a nice color, maybe a black right here. And then I'm just going to fill it with black. And ooh wee, that's looking pretty. So now if we want to make it not so dark black, we can always go to the layer settings for the levels by double clicking on that little icon. Then we can slap around these sliders a little bit until we get the, lo the look that we like. And I like that look right there. So I'm going to leave that as is. And there we go. We have a nice looking Mercedes in both black and red right here. As you can see, I'm, I'm very happy. So hopefully you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to drop me a PM or an email. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Take your finger and smack that subscribe button.